Eggs Benedict is one of those classic dishes, classic breakfast dish, but it's not a, it's not a, certainly not an everyday breakfast dish. It's one of those ones where you have a bit of a decadent weekend breakfast, which is basically poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, served on a toasted buttered muffin. So first off, I'm going to make the hollandaise sauce. It's a bit like making a mayonnaise. In mayonnaise, you'll use granite oil or plain flavoured oil. With hollandaise, the oil is replaced by butter, but you still need that acidic base. So for that, into a pan, I'm going to pour some white wine vinegar. I'm going to add shallots. I'm just going to take a few white peppercorns. The short length of time that's required to reduce this is enough to change the flavour. You'll get the sweetness and the smell of the shallots coming out with the peppercorns. Got a couple of yolks here. And then, time to add the butter. The main difference between this hollandaise and the classic one is in the classic hollandaise, you just pour melted butter. But here, I've made burn rosette, which is basically take butter, put it in a pan, put it on medium heat. It will start to sizzle and bubble. And as that sizzling dies down, all the water's been driven off. And as that happens, some of the proteins and solids in the butter just start to brown. You then strain those off, you end up with a really delicious sort of hazelnut flavoured butter. A little bit of salt, just a touch more white pepper. Now, time to poach the eggs. The most important part of all is that poached egg. It's incredibly important to use a fresh egg. There, the egg crack. I'm just going to pop this onto this slotted spoon. And the reason for that is as the egg gets older, over time the proteins start to break down. As they break down, the egg white then becomes less thick, becomes more runny. And you can't make a poached egg with a runny egg white because when you put it in the water, it's going to go everywhere. So I'm just going to pop it onto this spoon. You should see some of the wetter stuff draining through. There you go. And then back into the bowl. So I've got a pan of water here. It's got an upturned plate on the bottom of it. And that's really just to protect the egg from the direct heat of the pan. OK, so we've got this at 80. And the reason for that is just dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of trial and error to try and get a temperature where the water's hot enough to set the egg white quick enough, but not too hot, it starts bubbling and then the turbulence of the water chucks it all over the place. For me, the key to this dish is the actual poached egg itself. So no vinegar makes the white go leathery. If the water's not hot enough, the egg white will take too long to set. If it takes too long, what'll happen is it kind of gradually starts to dis dissipate through the pan. You end up with sort of a spider of egg white. <laughs> it's not exactly the nicest thing. And if it's too hot and if it's really boiling, then all of that turbulence chucks the egg white all over the pan. So you've got to find the balance. The temperature for us, 80 degrees, works really well. Then, just wait four minutes. I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon juice just to finish off the hollandaise. Egg. So that white is beautiful and soft. I'm just going to add a couple of slices of bacon on the side, which isn't quite technically eggs benedict, but it is delicious. Finish off a little bit more pepper, a touch of salt, and the hollandaise over the top. for some parsley. That is one of the great dishes when you get the egg right.